you guys ready? Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Deputy Chief Louis DeSegli. I'm the Executive Officer of Patrol Borough Bronx. With me today is Captain James Whit Whitlock from the Detective Bureau, um, Captain Odell Espot, XO of the 46 Precinct, and Inspector uh, Carlos Gans from Patrol Borough Bronx. The information I'm about to provide is preliminary and is only a few hours old. This evening at approximately 7.20 p.m., patrol officers from the 46 Precinct were dispatched to a female acting erratic but nonviolent with no weapons inside of 246 Echo Place. Additional information said the female was trying to burn items inside of the kitchen area. Officers arrived and found a 24-year-old female naked inside of the apartment on the third floor acting irrational. The officers took the female into custody without incident and awaited the response of the ambulance. Once the ambulance arrived, the female was transported to St. Barnabas Hospital for evaluation at approximately 7.50 p.m. Prior to leaving for the hospital, a family friend informed officers that the aided children were with their father. Shortly after the female was transported, around 7.55 p.m., a second 911 call was received reporting two unresponsive babies not breathing at the same location. Patrol officers returned to the apartment where they found an 11-month-old baby boy and a three-year-old male unresponsive with stab wounds, multiple stab wounds about the body. Officers and another family member attempted to resuscitate the children until the ambulance arrived. The two children were removed to Columbia Presbyterian Hospital for treatment. Despite the officer's best efforts, both children succumbed to their injuries. At this time, we have a person of interest in custody and the, invest the investigation is ongoing. I will take a few questions. The 24-year-old mother is the one in custody and uh, it's still under investigation. The father is not in custody. Can you give the second phone call to what time? The first phone call came around 721, and I believe the second call was shortly before 8 o'clock. Question right here. No, she has not been arrested. Question on the corner. Um, not that we know of at this time. It is a family shelter. Question right here. Um, does the mother describe any previous like, arguments or any shedding, um, any cause of the arguments? That's still under investigation. Any domestic violence uh, calls or anything to the location in the past? Um, there was one incident in the past, um, but it, it, was, um, it was a couple of years ago. Question right here. Do you know how many stab wounds and where exactly? Multiple stab wounds to the neck and torso of both children. If I may just ask, it, it being uh, two days after Thanksgiving, a troubling scene for officers responding to a scene like that, how do you process something so difficult, uh, young babies? How, how, can you just speak to that, the, the trauma? I don't think that's something you can ever get used to. Um, we all process in our own ways. Um, the police officers responded. I think they did a great job. And, um, you know, it, it, it's something that, you know, that they're going to have to live with and, and, and think about probably for the rest of their lives. But, uh, you know, we have uh, very experienced police officers. I, I think they're the best. And uh, they're able to uh, handle and cope with any situation. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Can you just spell your name, please? Desegli is uh, D-E space capital C, E-G-L-I-E. -E. First name, Lewis. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Both boys, 11 months, 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 11 months,